India is a vast country and has a large variety of plants, animals, and many other living beings. In other words, India is rich in biodiversity. There are hundreds of species of mammals and reptiles, thousands of species of birds, plants, and insects in India. Various climatic conditions prevail here and biodiversity is adapted to these conditions. In the Northeast, bamboos are found in abundance. So is the one-horned rhinoceros, which is also found exclusively in these regions. In the Himalayan regions, trees like the oak and pine are found in enormous numbers. Animals like snow leopard, Himalayan wolf, hangul and yak are also found in these regions. The forests in the plains of the north, central and western India bear trees such as the jamun, the neem, mango, people, banyan, palas, and aula. In these regions, animals such as the sambar, cheetal, elephant, barking deer, tiger, Nilgai are seen peacefully grazing. In the hot desert regions are found plants such as the cactus, bear and babool. Animals like the camel, the Nilgai, Black buck, tiger, chinkara, snakes, and rats have made their abodes in the desert. In the forests of southern India, trees of jackfruit, coconut, rubber, teak, tamarind, and various orchid species exist. Animals such as lion-tailed macaque, The Nilgiri Langur and elephants roam around in complete freedom in these forests. There are many life forms that live underwater. Apart from a wide variety of fish, shellfish and aquatic mammals. The ocean also houses 
many kinds of seaweeds. The starfish, the shellfish, the seahorses, the sea cucumbers are other marine animals. All over India, various kinds of birds fly about. Some birds can be seen around our houses, whereas many others can be seen in grasslands and in water bodies. Crows and sparrows can be seen around our houses, while quails, partridges and munias are adapted to grasslands. Gulls are found on the seashores, egrets and sandpipers are freshwater birds. Ducks swim in water. Storks, cranes, spoonbills are found in water or in the marshy areas. India has a wide variety of reptiles too. The common lizard, the gecko, can be seen on the walls of our homes. We often spot chameleons and garden lizards in our gardens. Snakes, such as the king cobra and the famous olive ridley turtles are also Indian species. Various species of amphibians are found in India. Recently, the tree frog with its enormous webbed feet have been spotted in the eastern Himalayan region. Insects constitute a large animal group which have invaded not only the land, but water as well. And they have also invaded the air. Butterflies hover in our gardens. The larvae of the silkworm moth spins cocoons which give us silk. The honey bees give us honey and wax. We know that the biodiversity is extremely important for us. We, human beings, depend upon biodiversity for almost every aspect of our life. From the air we breathe, the food we eat and other basic needs like housing, medicine, these are also taken care of by many plants and animals. In simple words, our biodiversity enriches our lives both culturally and spiritually. The entire humanity's survival is dependent on biodiversity. And still, the survival of Earth's biodiversity is in grave danger today. 
Many species of plants and animals are going extinct. Though extinction of species is a natural phenomenon in the sense that species have been going extinct ever since life began. But what is worrying is the rate at which species are currently dying out. Do you know who is responsible for this high rate of biodiversity loss? Well, it's we human beings. With the increase in human population, more and more forests are being cleared to grow crops, to build houses and factories. This has resulted in a loss of plant diversity. The reducing forest cover also means reduction in the size of habitats of many animal species. As a consequence of loss of habitat, animals such as the tiger, the rhinoceros, the elephant today stand endangered. Animals such as tiger, elephants, Rhinoceros are hunted for their skin and for their teeth. And the musk deer population has dwindled too as it is hunted for musk. With rise in human population, the requirement for food has naturally gone up. Since fish is a staple diet in many regions, we have started over-exhausting fish. This has led to a decline in the fish population. While medicinal plants are also over-harvested for their medicinal value, The high quality, high yield, hybrid varieties of food crops raised in our agricultural research institutes have largely solved the food problem. However, hybridization, if indiscriminately carried out too far, may pose the problem of losing wild varieties. This is a cause for worry, since world's agricultural systems depend on the assimilation of wild genes to stay one step ahead of the threat posed by pests and diseases. Another cause for biodiversity loss is increasing pollution. The contamination of fresh water, sea water, and soil can lead to the disappearance of many plant and animal species. Human activities are also causing global warming. Global warming has resulted in rising sea levels, loss of glacier ice, and extreme weather patterns. It is feared that these changes are happening at such a fast rate that soon it would be difficult for many species to adapt to these conditions.
वेक अप एक्ट नाउ और एंड अप डिस्ट्रॉइंग योर बिलावेड प्लान द चॉइस इज योर्स